Trello is one of my absolute favorite tools for staying productive. Today I want to show you a little bit about Trello, what Trello is, and how you can use it either for your organization's benefit or for the benefit of your own personal productivity. Uh, Trello really has three uh, key terms or three key concepts. There's a Trello board, that's what we're looking at right here, a blank Trello board. There are lists which live within the Trello board, and then there are cards which live within the Trello lists. We'll get uh, into some of those examples in just, uh, just a moment, but uh, you can have as many Trello boards as you, uh, as you like. We're just going to work with uh, one for today. You can think of a Trello board very similar to like an Excel workbook. It's a, a place for you to create, uh, to manage projects, to uh, create processes, uh, whatever you'd like to do all happen within a Trello board. So within my board, we can add as many vertical lists as we, uh, as we like. Um, I'm going to use an example today of maybe uh, brainstorming some ideas and how that would look through uh, moving it to an agenda. Uh, maybe moving it to a to-do list, and then uh, maybe I want to keep track of the things that I've completed, so I've got a done list over here. And perhaps this is a, a board that I'm going to share with my team, so we can all uh, create some ideas, brainstorm some, some issues here, and then we can move it through the process. We can add it to an agenda for an upcoming meeting. We can track, uh, okay, what are the to-dos that have come out of that and who are assigned to that. And then finally, we can move it to the done list when we're, uh, when we're complete. So in Trello, you can have as many of these uh, vertical columns, these vertical lists, as you, uh, as you like. You can see here to the right, I can just add as many as, uh, as I like. But now that I've got a couple of lists that I, want to, uh, that I want to work with, I can start adding cards. So uh, again, very much like a, uh, a column or perhaps a, a table in, uh, in Excel, um, I can say, uh, I can list different, uh, different ideas. We're going to uh, review our uh, sales pipeline. We're going to um, you know, change the support schedule. Uh, and we are going to, uh, maybe we're going to uh, uh, revise um, our uh, website uh, uh, feedback tool. Okay, so just a, a couple of ideas that I've added here. And, and you can see how easy it was for me to add. When I hit add card, you know, I can just, um, uh, as soon as I hit enter, it opens up another one for me. So I can very quickly uh, generate ideas and add cards to this, uh, to this list. Trello is a drag and drop application. So in this case, where I do have a process, it's so easy for me to just move this over uh, to the agenda. Maybe these are the two things I want us to talk about in our next, uh, in our next meeting. And I can keep moving them over if I, uh, if I like. I can, you know, I can revise the wording maybe when it gets to the uh, to the to do stage. But uh, very easy to drag and drop these cards back and forth. You can do the same thing with lists in terms of moving them, uh, moving them around. But uh, effortless to uh, to really move your your tasks or, or whatever you've captured here within your uh, within your cards. Now. You might say that's not a lot of detail, right? I've just added some three or four word uh, descriptions here for my ideas. Um, what if I want to add more detail? Well, the great thing about Trello is that it really keeps your workspace nice and clean. So I can keep the front here of my card or the, um, uh, the top level of my card nice and clean, but when I click on it, it opens up what, what Trello often refers to as the back of the card or the guts of the card. So within that, I can now add a much more detailed description if I want. Um, I can add a comment and it'll keep track of you know, when I made that comment and if I have other members of my team um, who are commenting, it'll keep track of that discussion here. I can add uh, some color-coded uh, labels if I like, and you can add text to those labels. So here's an example. I can, this is my go-ahead label, as in uh, we want to go ahead with this project, so I can add that to this, uh, this task. I can add a, uh, a due date. I want to make sure we do this by, uh, by the end of the week. Um, a lot more options found within the card, so you can provide a lot more details within the card, yet it keeps the front of my card nice and clean. I love that aspect of Trello, that you can have 
uh, your project, your to-do list, um, your agenda, whatever you want to use your Trello board for, you can keep the front of the cards nice and clean, but all of that, uh, that juicy content, all that further description, uh, comments and so forth can be, uh, can be held within the, uh, within the card. You know, you can even easily add, um, uh, add images to, um, uh, to your cards as well. I can just hit paste on this particular, uh, on this particular card and uh, you can add an image to that card which will also by default become the front of your card so if you like a more visual format uh, you can add that to your uh, to your trello cards as uh, as well i can uh, remove the cover if i only want that image uh, within the uh, within the back of the card but very easy to do i just you know that was just a copy and paste that i used to to attach that to the card uh, you can add further attachments, you know, whether those are PDF, uh, PDF documents, you can add uh, links to, uh, to the back of your card. So, um, you know, very, very functional, very fully featured within the, uh, within the cards, uh, within the cards themselves. So a couple of other examples of how I've used a, uh, a Trello board in the past. Uh, great for managing projects. It can also be used as your own personal uh, to-do list. Uh, when it comes to your personal life, um, I've used this for home renovations. I've used this for planning a vacation. Uh, an example is my first two lists. Um, when we're planning a vacation, uh, once, we've, once we've selected our destination, we'll often have a, uh, an activities or a things to do list. And then we'll have a uh, places to eat or restaurants list. And then the remaining ones can be the days that we're actually there. Maybe this is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, etc. And then we can just sort of drag and drop the things. Oh yeah, we want to go uh, see that on, uh, on Tuesday and maybe we'll go eat there on, uh, on Tuesday since it's near that, uh, near that location. So so, um, you know, home renovations, really anything that you can think of, um, you can do within a Trello board. So that's just a real quick overview of what Trello is. I'd encourage you to, uh, to try Trello out if you haven't yet. Trello.com is, uh, is the website address. Um, it's free to use. Uh, you can have as many boards as you like. And once you start playing with the application, uh, I'm sure you'll find out some really interesting ways uh, to incorporate it into your work. It's very simple.